So this morning, we have someone who you can call a jack of all trades. Uh, he's not only worked uh, on a TV production over 13 years, including an Emmy nominated show, but he's also uh, a professional in video games. He's a comics writer. In fact, he worked on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Transformers as well. And he's here to chat about his debut adult novel called Poison City. And this is Paul Crilly. Good morning to you. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Um, you're also going to be part of the Open Book Festival that we all are very excited about it. Yes, I am. Yes. All right. But of course, the book, Poison City, this is what we're here to talk about. It's your debut novel that you brought out after many years of working in uh, fantasy genres, but on the lighter side of things, because you, you were writing for a younger audience as well. And as this is your first foray, why did you decide to take on this dark genre? Um, just to do something a bit different, really. Um, yeah. Writing for children is a a strict set of rules, you know, there's things you can and can't do. Um, but with adults, it's um, a lot more open. Yeah. Yeah, you can do, a, you can get away with a lot more. Absolutely. Yeah. And you've really gone into, I mean, when I, when I read this word, I was like, oh my goodness, it's going to that dark space. The, you talk about tokoloshis, there's uh, spirits, there's orishas as well. So uh, what was it like for you as a writer exploring this world and putting it to paper? Oh, that's brilliant. That's the most fun, all the research. Um, these kind of uh, uh, creatures and, and gods now haven't really been done in novels, in these kind of uh, fantasy novels. So I just thought it'd be nice to put that into an international audience yes. so they could see all the different types, you know, instead of just the usual European type of uh, legends. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me more about the story. What is Poison City all about? I'm looking at the what looks like the, I guess, the, the, the part of the book, the cover. There's a dog there, one of the main characters I understand. Tell me more about Poison City. Um, it's a supernatural crime thriller um, about a man called Gideon Tao who's searching for the killer of his daughter. Uh, and the dog is his spirit guide who's supposed to look after him. But the dog is... <laughs> the dog is an alcoholic, bad-tempered, um, and insults everybody, basically. So does, it, does a dog also offer some comic relief in, oh, in yes. those tense situations? Yes, lots of dark humour from the dog. Yeah. 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 What is it that you want people to take from reading the book? Just enjoyment. I mean, yeah. the writer's job is to entertain. That's it. I mean, it's a it's a deal you make with the reader. Um, yeah. So if people enjoy it and enter, are entertained, then I think I've done my job. Yeah. That's it. yeah. Can, can we expect the, the, the character like the dog to make a comeback in a sequel to come? Very much. It's so. going to be come. Okay. So what, what what are your thoughts right now? Where, where are you going to with this uh, this story? Um, well, the sequel is called Clockwork City, um, and it takes halfway in Durban and it goes over to London. Um, they travel over to the UK, but yeah. the, the dog is in it a lot more than the first book. He's become a bit of a favourite with the readers so far. Yeah. That's fantastic news. So the book is now available. It's called Poison City and it is available uh, countrywide. Yes, it is. Yes. Yeah. And you're going to be part of the Open Book Festival from today until the 11th of September. Why would you encourage people to go to the Open Book Festival? Oh, there's just so many panels and so much to learn from loads of different writers. It's, it's you know, it's so much to do. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> sorry, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to think how many panels. Unbridled excitement. <laughs> there's too many panels to even talk about. There's like yeah. so much to do. It's just, yeah. Yeah, but for any uh, enthusiasts of literature, yeah, do yeah. make your way to the Open Book Festival in Cape Town that starts off today. And of course, you can find more information online. That was Paul Critty telling us about his brand new novel, his debut novel, in fact, called Poison City. Do check it out. It is available nationwide.